Hello everyone, it's Janet. Wanted to share with you guys um, these thick pens that I just received. Um, I was in a swamp in December um, with mini album scraps dot ninja dot com and um, I just received my packet for my Valentine's stick pins. I opened, I had previously recorded um, and I opened the, the packet. However, um, the lighting was not so well, so you know, you couldn't really see it as well. So I'm just re recording. Um, the first stick pin that I received was from Ashley. And Ashley is um, glamorous side of scrap, and she did it in a um, heart. And so we were supposed to get three stick pins, and this is the first one that I got. And then this one, I like this one, Ashley. It has like um, a marble kind of look. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, but it has like a marble um, to the stick pin. And then this one. It's cute. I like that. So that was from Ashley. And then the next one is from Z Donna at Red Apple Junction at blogspot.com. And this is what Donna made. They're cute. And the little frills, the little tag. It's cute. So that was hers. And then um, last but not least, this is from Valentina. And Valentina is Yukigo. U K I G A L. Yuki Gal. And she did like um, a vintage tag. It's cute. And so that's the uh, stick pins that she made. I like this one. It's like a, a diamond. And so those were the stick pins that I um, received from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. I know that you haven't been feeling very well. Um, and I'm also really, really busy um, trying to get all these swaps out. I'm doing um, care packages for a few ladies who were very sweet to me um, and have sent me a few things. And um, the first package that I'm going to be sending is to Martika. Hola, Martika. I haven't forgotten about you. I really, really did appreciate you sending me the fabric papers um, that you sent me. And I will be sending um, the first care packet out soon to you, probably by this week. And I have three others that I need to send out as well. That's my daughter telling her father no. <laughs> and so I just want to take a quick minute to show you guys. Um, these were the bows that I was trying to show you yesterday and I know the lighting wasn't really that well and this is what I was doing Gabriela Gabriela and so this <laughs> this is the bowls that I was making and I was I mean they were so easy to make that I made 10 of these and they're so cute and I added them on to my daughter's um, scarf that I finished making and they're super cute if you guys um want me to make you any of these if you want to do a swap and I'll make um and you want these let me know I'll I'll be glad to make a swap with you guys um these were some of the flowers that I also made that I was crocheting yesterday I'm they're not done I have to add another um to this one and then I made this huge one this is about four inches and it has different colors to it. Love this um, fabric or the yarn. I love that. And so these are all the flowers that I've been making because I'm doing um, so many swamps that I'm adding them all onto here. Where's the other one? I made these really pretty um, flowers. So cute. This is about um three three by two maybe i want to say it's cute and so i did um a small one and a big one and i did the same thing with these this is a brown love the inside of it so this is the small one and the big one and so those are for um a special person and i'm making those for and i've also made the paper ones and I used the tutorial that um, Lynn K1970 had shown on how to do these leaves. They came out so cute. 
and I used um, the stickles, um, the, what do you call these? Oh, geez, let me see. The <laughs> glitter glue on there. And I made quite a few of these there. Pretty easy, but um, because I don't have a die um, cutter, a flower die cutter, like the Tim Holtz tattered flowers or anything, I have to do these all by hand. So these were all traced and then cut by hand because um, I don't have the um, die cutter for my big shot. I haven't bought it yet. And the same thing with this one. And now I'm working on my lollipop flowers that I need to include with the swamps. And then these are the last two that I just made. I love this color. It's like a peach with grayish peach. And then this one. It's cute. And I'm, I'm still not done. They look a little plain because I still have to add, um, you know, the feathers or whatever I'm going to add um, to kind of pop them out. But just want to show you guys that I am so busy. My husband finally <laughs> decided, okay, you need to get away from the computer, get away from your crafting table, and spend some quality time because um, you've been kind of MIA lately. So I decided to do that today, and I'm, now I'm right back <laughs> to crafting. So, yeah, if you guys want to do a swap um, for for these bows or anything that I'm making, shoot me an email. Um, I am currently... A little busy because I have two other girls that I'm going to be doing swaps with. Um, so just shoot me an email and we'll talk about it. Um, you know, and you know, obviously there's like no deadline or whatever. But all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.